I know this is long overdue, but here I am, y'all, with a makeup video. I already have washed and moisturized my face, so now I'm about to go in with my Becca Poreless Matte Primer, and I'm going to pretty much put this all over because your girl gets oily, okay? So we definitely are going to have to use a primer and just let it sit for a while before I start doing my makeup. I mean, I get oily, guys, on my cheeks, my nose, my forehead, my eyebrows, you name it. So this definitely helps control some of that oil. So after I let that sit for about 10 minutes, I'm going to go in with my NYX Micro Brow. This is in the color Espresso. This is my favorite brow pencil. Now, lately, I have been going in also with the crayon case if I want a darker brow. And I'll kind of fill it in with the color Ebony. But for today, I'm just going to use this Micro Brow Pencil. You can pick this up at your local drugstore or you can find it in Ulta, Target, wherever there is a nyx being sold then you will definitely find this i always get two at a time just because i do use them so much and you can usually find nyx like buy one get one half off or they're always running some type of special and ulta definitely has a coupon whenever you go in there Brows are not twins, so one may need a little bit more TLC than the other, but for the most part, I try to get them to match up as much as possible without them looking too crazy. Just gonna take the end of that brush and kind of brush over the front so that it won't seem too harsh. And for today, I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop. I forget the color name, so I'm gonna make sure to list as much details as possible down below. I'm just going to take that above my brow and underneath and just kind of clean everything up just to give it a fresh look. And I think this is one of the ones I usually don't use. I try to use something as close to my shade as possible. And this one was coming off a little bit lighter. But when I ordered off of ColourPop, you guys know ColourPop is very affordable. But it was hard for me to pick which colors that I needed. Because some colors were coming off red. Some were coming off orange. So I ended up grabbing a bunch of them. So it's very rare that I use this particular one. But I will list down below the one that I always like to go in and use now i'm just going to go in with a concealer brush and just clean up um, underneath and on top of the brows and i like to kind of put a little bit in the middle just to make it look all even and i try to work as fast as possible because i do not want this to dry down and start looking like crusty so i try to work as fast as possible when doing this method and then i'm also going to put some concealer on my eyes just to give it a clean base and then I will go in with my air spun powder and I'm just going to put a little bit of powder on my eyes. Now I usually use Laura Mercier powder, but I completely ran out. I've already refilled and everything, um, but I completely ran out of that powder. That is my go-to powder for myself. And I just like to put it all over my eyes. And sometimes I put it on my face, depending on how long I'm gonna stay out, just to kind of like give it a more matte look. But for today's I look, I'm going to go in with my ColourPop Karuchi collection. The, the recent one that just came out, I believe it's called Brown Sugar. And I'm just going to play around with those eyeshadows. Now, this is going to be like a neutral look. I am not a big fan of color just because I feel like when I do too much, it looks crazy as heck. So I try to go in for a more natural, clean look. That is just what I prefer. I have nothing against colorful eyeshadow but i just feel like it looks crazy on me and i'm just going to work that color on my eyelid and then i'll just take that blending brush and go back in with the other color and just blend everything out so that it won't look harsh and it'll look like it's all coming together see how easy that was i did not do a lot of steps for my eyeshadow okay i'm not going to go in with any eyeliner today i'm going to go in with my benefit bad gal uh, mascara and I'm just going to put some mascara on the top of my eyes and prepare for my lashes now I did do my lashes off of camera because I'm still a newbie but the next time I do a makeup tutorial I promise you to do it on camera because I think I'm getting the hang of it to where I can just kind of pop it on and go 
We'll make sure to put up what the lashes look like. They're very affordable. I believe they're only $2.99. So for foundation, I'm going in with my late Maybelline Fit Me in the color 338. And I'm going to warm that up on the back of my hand and work this in using my beauty blender. Now for foundation, I am still trying to find a high-end foundation. But for the most part, guys, I just like to use this. It never fails me at all. So I always have a hard time finding a higher end foundation because it's either too red. I have to keep going back to the store, returning, and I don't have time for that. So if anything, I always have this in my stash as my go-to foundation. I don't wear a lot of foundation. I literally just pretty much use that small amount that I use. And for the most part, I just really conceal, if anything. Um, I don't feel like I need a lot of foundation, so I try not to go ham with it. And this one is very good as far as coverage goes, so a little bit definitely goes a long way. Blending everything out, I'm just going to go in with my Fenty stick in the color Truffle and kind of use that as a contour. Now, I don't contour like my forehead and stuff like that with the stick. I just kind of do my cheekbones and then I put a little bit on my nose. So you have to work this one in because it will get dry very quickly. Now, I like to warm mine up on the back of my hand just a little bit and then I'll put the stick on my face and blend it out with the Beauty Blender also. So now I'm just going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix Concealer. I believe the color is NW40. Once again, I'll make sure to leave everything down below in the description area. And I love this concealer. You definitely have to work quick with it or it will dry up quick. So that's one thing about this concealer. You can't just leave it on and let it sit for a little bit because it will dry out on you and you will be working extra hard. So I like this concealer and I also like the new Too Faced Concealer also. And if you notice, a breakout on my face is because I was going through it y'all I started using a new face product and it definitely broke me out so I had to stop doing that my face is all clear now but I feel like I'd be going through adult acne at times like sometimes it'd be good and then sometimes it don't but enough of that I then also like to put a little bit on the forehead just a little bit and then I'll put some on the nose and then I also would end up contouring towards the end just to kind of make it look Put together and bring a little bit of color back on my nose area thing that my camera did not pick up on video was me putting on my powder to set my face i do use either the air spun powder or i use the laura mercier powder those are my two go-to powders sometimes the laura mercier does dry me out and i feel like the air spun is not as dry so sometimes i like to mix them up just to get a really good color especially if i'm going for a more natural look just going in with the crayon case contour powder palette and I'm just going to set the cream so that it doesn't budge or move and then I'll be going in with my MAC blush and this one is in the color raisin and I'm just going to put a little bit of blush on my cheek I do not like to go too ham on the blush and sometimes I like to mix my blushes up also and then I'll be going in with my highlight this one is I forget where this is from I believe this is J cat and I think I purchased this on Hush a long time ago, but you can actually pick this up at your local beauty supply store also. So I'm just going in with my highlighting brush and then I'm just going to highlight my cheeks, the bridge of my nose. And then of course you guys know I always like to highlight above my lip. And then I like to put a little bit in between my eyes just to make it pop. I'm just going to take my mascara and apply it to the bottom lashes just to make it pop a little bit better and I like this mascara because I like the wand on it it's great especially for applying to the lower lash and I feel like I don't make a mess down there like with some mascara I feel like I'm always going to mess up and I have to be super careful but this one is very easy to apply and you can buy this in the full size or the trial size if you just want to try it out just lining my lips with the NYX chestnut lip pencil and then I will be topping it using the matte addiction liquid lip color by collab and this one is called I'm nude here and then I will top it using the morphe freeberg gloss now matte lipstick is cool but I am a gloss girl so I love gloss I can't get with the whole matte thing quite yet so I always just add a little bit of gloss just to get it to where I want it to be 
After my lip gloss is on and popping, I'm going to take my MAC Mineral Skin Finish in the color dark and I'm just going to go around my face. And then I will set it all using my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. It's hair time and my lighting did change because I did put on a different shirt. So this one is by OMG Her Hair. This is the Gabrielle Union Bob Style. It does have a pre poked hairline. It's 12 inches. This one that I have, it states that it is 150% a natural black color and four and a half inches of parting space. And I also do have a medium brown lace color and the wig size is considered average, which is about 22 to 22 and a half inches. Yeah, like, didn't you review this unit before? Yes, I did review this unit before. In fact, I purchased it with my own coins about two and a half years ago, and I did review it on my channel. I wanted to try it again. The difference in this one is that it is 150%, and when I purchased it, it was 130%. I also feel like this wig is a little bit shorter because I purchased the same length, and when I went back and looked at the video, mine was definitely longer in the front, and it was not as wavy. You guys seen I did go ahead and adhere this unit down using my got to be free spray and I'm also going to take my lotta body foam wrap and go around the front of the hairline and just kind of swoop out a little bit of hairs. Now I did go ahead and bleach the knots on this unit just because I felt like they did need to be bleached. Now they do bleach a little bit of the hairline but the knots were still noticeable in my opinion so I wanted to make it look as flawless as possible. Now the lace on this, I feel like it was a little bit dark for me, but I am going to go ahead and clean that up. Of course, you guys know I'll be using my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Creator Palette and that will make it all blend in. Then mold this unit down after washing, so I'm just going to break up the cast and then I'm gonna put a little bit of my Care Care Wax Stick at the top just to control any type of freeziness or flyaways at the top and then just smooth it in using my edge brush. And then I'll also be putting a little bit of my Sleek and Shine Serum on it for the freeziness also. But with this unit, I really can't complain or say too much about it. It's a little bit shorter in my opinion from what I reviewed the last time on my channel. Um, I do like the wave pattern on it. The density on this is nice. I do feel like it's a little bit thinner at the top and more thicker at the bottom, but I think this unit is good for every day. And of course it's affordable, so you can't beat that. Now guys, let me know what you think about the overall look. And if you guys want more get ready with me, feel free to leave it down below in the comment section. I know I was a little bit late, but I don't mind doing this again for you guys. And also let me know what you think about the hair. If you guys are interested, of course, I'll leave all the links down below along with some coupon codes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification button, share and like this video. And I will see you guys the next time. Bye guys.